how to buy ethereum on binance tutorial for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at how you can buy ethereum on binance so let's get into it now to get started all you're going to do is you're going to create your binance.com account so you can do this on the mobile application as well as your desktop or pc and once you create your account you're actually going to have to verify it so you're going to actually have to go into the identification section over here and in the identification you're going to have to verify your identity once you do that you can begin purchasing and selling or trading crypto on Binance so once you have done that, you're going to go ahead and there are multiple different ways that you can buy crypto. So I'm going to discuss the most simplest and common way first, which is once you go on to Binance.com, you can click on buy crypto and then you can click on credit slash debit card or bank deposit. So you can click on bank deposit over here select the currency that you want to buy and then you can buy any currency over here so you can usually buy usd and then you're going to click on continue select your currency enter the amount then you're going to click on continue over here and once you do that you're just going to add your account information and choose the coin that you want to buy after that another simple method is credit or debit card now this is the most widely used method you're going to go into buy crypto click on credit slash debit card and then you can begin by entering the amount of usd you want to spend so enter how many usd you want and then you can change it from btc to ethereum just like that and now you can see the limit per transaction is 15 usd you're going to enter the minimum amount or however much money you want to spend or however much eth you want and then you can click on continue over here then you can choose how you want to purchase this so if you want to purchase it via your visa or mastercard you can continue and then you're just going to choose your payment method enter that payment verify the payment and then you will receive ethereum directly into your binance wallet so that is how simple and easy it is now you also have other things like P2P trading and third-party payment. So if you don't have a bank account and you don't have a credit or debit card, you can go ahead and go into third-party payment over here. You can enter your amount and choose to buy whatever token you want. So you're going to choose Ethereum. And now for Ethereum, you have two options. You have Simplex Payment and Bank SaaS. So these are the two options that are available for you to be able to purchase Ethereum. Now, these are the direct methods of purchasing Ethereum. There are some indirect methods as well. For that, you can go into Binance.com. You're going to go into your wallet. So open up your wallet from the top right over here. Once you open up your wallet over here, what you can do is click on deposit, click on fiat deposit, then just deposit some fiat is basically the uh, basic token like USDT or USDC. So you're going to click on deposit and then deposit your fiat or buy crypto with card and simply deposit fiat in that method. And if you already have a previous crypto wallet, so if you have funds in another crypto wallet, like I have MetaMask over here, you can open up MetaMask and you can simply choose to deposit money into your Binance wallet from your other wallet and click on crypto deposit over here. And once you have deposited money into your Binance account in the form of BTC or BUSD, what you can do is you can click on trade over here or transfer. Now, it depends on what kind of trading you're looking to do. So you can transfer this into your futures account, your funding account, your cross margin account from your spot account, the BUSD or BUSD. BUSDT. So you're going to transfer that fiat currency into your futures account. Or if you don't want to do that, you can simply go ahead and take that fiat currency. Go ahead and click on trade over here and click on Binance convert over here. Enter the amount of USDT and convert it into Ethereum. Then another better way to buy is to click on spot over here and spot trading basically means that you're going to buy at a certain price so you can just put in any certain price below the market average because if you buy directly you're going to be paying the market average premium so you're going to be paying the highest price possible but if you go ahead and select open up spot the spot trading chart over here you can select ethereum so this is the busd you're going to search for ethereum on the top right over here and you're just going to click on ethereum slash usdt 
click on that now for the quiz and then once you have entered ethereum over here what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you can see you're going to click on spot over here and enter the price that you want to buy ethereum at now why do i recommend this instead of having to purchase ethereum directly this would actually enable you to buy the token at the lowest price possible so this would actually enable you to buy the token at the lowest price possible. Let's say the current price is 1571 and the price that I want to buy it is at 1500. So I want to buy it at 1500 and what I would do, I would enter the amount of Ethereum that I want to buy. So I have two Ethereum that I want to buy and it's showing me the USDT total. So it's going to take me around 3000 USDT to purchase this. And obviously you need to have that money in your account. And then you're going to click on buy ETH. Once you click on buy ETH, it would actually show it in your open orders at the bottom over here. And once you have that in your open orders, you can even see it over here. And you can see in this green data, it is the average price of people buying Ethereum. And the red data is the average price of people selling Ethereum. So what you're going to be able to do with this method is to buy at the lowest possible price so instead of adding you know 1500 you can actually add the current price the average price is 1572 so you can add 1570 and then in this way you can simply save two dollars and two dollars might not seem like hey that's not a lot of money but obviously when you are trading you're buying hundreds and thousands worth of tokens so that is going to be a large percentage or a large chunk of money that you're going to be able to save by purchasing ethereum in this spot trading method and you can also go ahead and sell it at a profit so if you expect the price to rise then you can just click on the price that if it's at you want to write and you want to sell it so currently it's at 1574 and i want to sell it as soon as it reaches 1900 so i'm going to enter the price so as soon as the token price of ethereum is equivalent to 1900 i want to sell two eth or however many eth that i want to sell you can click on sell eth and this would also show up in your open orders and as soon as the price drops to that people will purchase it and price raises to that and someone purchases it uh you're going Going to be able to make a profit as well and this entire process will be automated for you so you don't have to sit around and uh, wait at your computer to be able to actually purchase this and you know sell this ethereum that you just bought so this will enable you a automated trade function as well and you can also stop limit orders so let's say that you have you the buying price that you set is 1570 and the amount of ethereum is two so maybe you're able to get one ethereum for that price and the transaction is ongoing and the price raises and the second ethereum will be bought at a higher price so for that you can enter the stop limit and this will enable you to stop any kind of losses and you can also add other more detailed functions like market trading so depending on the market price you can enter a specific market trade as well and for futures trade you're going to be managing risk as well so i wouldn't recommend for a beginner to buy ethereum in that way from their fiat currency just go with spot trading to keep it simple for you so just go with spot trading to keep it simple for you whenever you are looking to buy a simple currency or a simple token and i hope you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you in the next video